In this video, we're going to show you how to replace the upper torque strut on your Ford 500 located right here on the top side of your engine. Using a 1516 socket, we're going to remove the two bolts on the driver's side on our strut tower brace. Let's do the same on the passenger side. Using a 13 millimeter socket, we're going to remove this mount bolt right here. Let's grab this brace, slide this out, set it aside. On the side of the mount, there are two 14 millimeter bolts holding it to this bracket. Using your ratchet and socket, loosen and remove those. And remove that upper bolt. Repeat the process for the lower bolt. On the back side of the intake tube here, where the tube meets the throttle body, you're going to use your flathead screwdriver, loosen up this hose clamp. At the other end of the intake tube here, there's another hose clamp here. Use your flathead screwdriver to go ahead and loosen that hose as well. On the top, you have a vacuum hose right here. There's a little green spring clip on it. So we want to push that back a little bit and pop that off, swing that away. There's another vacuum hose right here. Simply pull that out. Wiggle that up and out. And on the bottom side of our throttle body here, there is a coolant tube that comes to the back side of it. We're gonna use our long pliers here. Now this has coolant in it. You are gonna experience a little bit of a leak. We're gonna work that down. Now I'm just tucking some towels underneath here. I'm gonna use my hose pliers. We're gonna remove this hose. This is gonna allow us to get our hand down underneath the throttle body, giving us access to the two bolts on that mount. Can just pop this hose off, set that aside over here. Using our 13 millimeter socket with a swivel and extensions. Let's loosen this bolt here. On the horizontal bolt, I have a 13 millimeter half inch socket and extension reaching down behind the back side of the motor here. Gonna lower the mount down in a position. Let's go ahead and tighten down that horizontal rearward bolt. Let's tighten down the lower vertical bolt. Now 
make sure that's nice and tight and install our two upper horizontal bolts. Go ahead and get those started. If you want to, you can thread them in as far as you can by hand. And once you have those two upper bolts in, go ahead and use your gear wrench or your ratchet wrench or swivel with socket to go ahead and snug that down. Torque these bolts down to 41 foot-pounds. And repeat for the lower. The lower rear vertical bolt, we want to torque that to 41 foot-pounds. On our lower rear horizontal bolt, we want to torque that to 41 foot-pounds. Install the cross tower brace here. Install the four bolts. Install the mount bolt. Torque it to 35 foot-pounds. Let's go ahead and tighten down our four cross brace bolts. Torque to 41 foot-pounds. Install the coolant tube here on the bottom side of the throttle body. Install the air intake tube. Tighten down our hose clamps. Once those are snug, install a vacuum hose here. Connect the other vacuum hose. Install the mass airflow harness. Press it on, you'll hear it and feel it click in, and then press the lock in. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.